captured by curiosity rover this view shows the path the rover took as it drove to the sulfate bearing unit an area it investigated on mount sharp curiosity had to drive around a large sand patch in order to reach a place where it could ascend to the sulfate rich region the upper part of mount sharp looms at the top of this panorama
Young, fresh craters are of interest on Mars because they help place constraints on the rate at which new impact craters and other young features have formed in recent times. The crater seen here has very few craters superposed on it which attests to its youth. It also has very steep slopes and a sharp rim which are further evidence of its young age. This fresh crater is particularly interesting because it contains gullies, which are slope features that are proposed to require some amount of liquid water to form. The gullies must have formed here after the crater did, which means that if liquid water was involved in the formation of these gullies, then it existed on the surface of Mars more recently. The existence of recent liquid water is especially important in terms of the search for life on Mars and its future exploration. Several of the gullies here show features such as terraces, discontinuous channels, and abandoned channels, all of which imply that more than one flow event occurred. It is unknown whether or not such multiple flows would have been closely spaced in time, however. Terraces are thought to indicate past flow levels. Discontinuous channels may represent some subsurface flow in addition to surface flow or they may be channels that were once continuous that have since been filled in with wind-blown sediment and dust. For example, see the discontinuous channel near the center of this image. It appears to have sediment infilling it. Abandoned channels are paths that fluid flowed through in the past before another flow took a different direction. Perseverance rover captured this panorama of a location called Hog Wallow Flats. Hog Wallow Flats is made up of fine-grained sedimentary rock that was deposited underwater in the ancient past. The rover collected two pairs of rock core samples near this area because of its high potential for preserving signs of ancient life and information about the timing of habitable conditions in the zero crater.
Studies of texture and composition of this rock suggest that it originated deep inside the Martian crust. A crater forming impact could have excavated the rock and thrown it a long distance where it was found by the Mars rover along the rover's long trek across Meridiani Plain toward Endeavour Crater. The dark circle on the rock was left by the rock abrasion tools work which brushed dust out of the area where the tool had ground into the rock. The circle is approximately 2 inches in diameter. This panorama was taken by Curiosity rover while driving up the side of Teal Ridge. The location is part of a larger region called the Clay Bearing Unit on the side of Mount Sharp which is inside Gale Crater. By driving up the side of the ridge, the rover was able to reach rocks from the second of three subunits within the Clay Bearing Unit that are exposed in the valley-like region of the mountain. Scientists are looking for signs that Mars could have supported microbial life billions of years ago when rivers and lakes could be found in the Gale Crater.
Just as colors are made more dramatic during sunsets on Earth, Martian sunsets make the blue near the sun's part of the sky much more prominent, while normal daylight makes the rusty color of the dust more prominent. Blue colors become more prominent because the dust in the Martian atmosphere's fine particles permit blue light to penetrate the atmosphere more efficiently than longer wavelength colors. That causes the blue colors in the mixed light coming from the sun to stay closer to the sun's part of the sky compared to the wider scattering of yellow and red colors. The effect is more pronounced near sunset as light from the sun passes through a longer path in the atmosphere than it does at midday. Part of the floor of a large impact crater is seen here where most of the crater floor is dark with abundant small ripples of wind-blown material. However, a pit in the floor of the crater has exposed light-toned fractured rock. The light-toned material appears fractured at several different scales. These fractures are called joints and result from stresses on the rock after its formation. Joints are similar to faults but have undergone virtually no displacement. With careful analysis, joints can provide insight into the forces that have affected a unit of rock and thus into its geologic history. The fractures appear dark which may be due to trapping of dark wind-blown sand in the crack to precipitation of different minerals along the fracture or both. This panorama was taken while the Mars rover was driving up Husband Hill. The summit of the hill is the far peak near the center of this panorama, which is about 656 feet away from the rover and about 148 feet higher in elevation. The bright rocky outcrop near the center of the panorama is part of the Cumberland Ridge and beyond that to the left is a valley. The rover's tracks leading back from its previous drive can be seen on the right side of the panorama. The region just beyond the area where the tracks made their zigzag pattern was where rock and soil deposits with very high sulfur were discovered. Mm -hmm. 